You're listening to The Grind with Chromatics playing the best in TNT music. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, Taja Panet. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Let me go one time. This is a big man I. Hey. Born in a poverty, but them thing I do like. Hey, uh-huh. I do like that. So every get a youth had to have the Benz park outside. Outside! Park up, yeah. A pretty girl pass and me drink Quit. with two black eyes. But come on, six. Now some people out there hear what they like to do, eh? Hear what they uh-huh. like to do. Hey, but they talking. Yeah, what? All your business out the road. And they walking. Walking. But what? They drop it inside your shoes, so them barking. <laughs> hey, I'm can't put one bite on you So we go study them, them, them Because Chaggy we yell can hey, so we do? we do? Mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up, mash up All on the <laughs> You're listening to the grind I want you to sing this one too Keep you know? singing Wait, oh, cool. I want you to sing I know you're passing oh, in here But let me go, let me go, let me go From, From the age of ten Ten, small man Wait, wait, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Before, before I go into this mm. Let me give the disclaimer I am just the messenger <laughs> All right? Go ahead! I am the best messenger! Hey! It's all about the grind! All about the grind. All about the grind. We won't! We won't! From the age of 10 Hey! I had my first girlfriend I didn't have no paper then uh-huh. She wanted ice cream from right round the bend So fast forward later then Later! Look how much, now. How much money you spend This small susu hand where you get Hey! She making every cent You see I all you, I miss too much girl in life. You yes. see, I uh, hear what? I make too much of a bad choice. I know. You see, I, I, I try to do what is right. Uh huh. Never me again, again. I hone it, I hone it, I hone it. Them girl is the worst. I hone it, us, all of them. Can't take it in reverse. How you do it? Oh, what? Name something goes all. All. So, all right. So how we doing it? We doing it. Big in the proper brass. Proper brass. We got it like. Oh God. I tell you, we rinse yeah, in yeah, June. Yeah. We going, we going down the line. Rinse in June. We going down the line. It's your birthday, ladies. Uh, come out. Hey, mommy, pretty, pretty little body. When you hurt somebody, when you whine. You add the thing down, day down, day down, day with the sun does shine. Hey, mommy, ready for two little figures. So you want six figures for the wine. Hey, you know I have it. Sign the check, baby. But I want it for Just say, oh, 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 oh. I'm not too sure where is the season. But we ain't come to discuss horoscope. No matter your sign, no matter where you're from, I want you to celebrate life right now. Raise it up. All is for you, girl. Make a wish and it must come true. Yeah, what's it do? What's the wine? What's the wine? What's the wine? Now ladies, I want you to go down Say come wind down On the ground, bump a touch down Bottom, bottom, turn up the zone Because no man can lock you down Without a crown, say come wind down On the ground, bump a touch down Watch it all here Yes <laughs> Yes ladies and gentlemen That is our guest this evening Goes by the name of Mikhail Teja, my yeah, brother bro. My brother there how, how everything, how vibes? I see you on the grind. Yeah, I on the grind. It was it rough? You had to be on the grind this time, you know, but, you know. If you, if you, as somebody tell me, she say you have to be useful. If you're not useful, you're useless. Mm. So you had to get up. You had to do something. You had to be. You had to be active. If you're staying down, and then as well too, they say if the more you sit down in life, it's a shorter your lifespan. So you had to get up and do something. Indeed, indeed. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what we. That's what we've been doing. Because I, I, if you watch the surroundings and what we're doing here, this is OUR you are radio dot FM. Yeah. Right, playing at least seventy five percent TNT music, but the grind plays a hundred percent TNT music. You know, strictly local three hours. That's what we do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I mean? and uh, again, now for me. People like yourself who have paved the way or the cut real grass. Mm. Now, looking at it now, we're in a space where local is now very like coming you, up. You know, we had discussions with that. Yeah, where we're talking about If you're saying local, people might be oh, local. Now, 
you see local people like yo wait yeah boy you know what i mean when people listen to this this, this show they're they amazed at the amount of content and the amount of great stuff that they've, they've never heard but and you know we try to keep it to where so when somebody listens they, they they just blown away after song after song bro you know what i mean like i did not know that artist just now a- amy amy shout out to amy bro she is on a different level yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna have her on the show right now uh, yeah. not right now in but, our timing but yeah, right yeah, now yeah. it's all about michael tasia our special guest if you're now tuning in send the link to a friend oh you are radio.fm we're gonna get into it so we're live <coughs> yeah yeah we live we, we live, live we live, live on oh you are radio.fm so yeah man so i wanna you know kind of discuss of course we, we you know we you heard the 24 hour rhythm you have many rhythms that you're produced yeah yeah and written so you wrote every song on the 24 hour rhythm um let me just or not recollect the rhythm right <laughs> the rhythm is viking ding dong myself uh-huh. and first wrote that one right mashup written by myself right um chris kennedy chris kennedy right well chris came with half of a song and i was mm-hmm. just like bro this is a bit trashy but i like certain parts mm-hmm. in it no no let's keep it real that's the next thing <laughs> I unfiltered. I keep it real. It yeah. was a little trashy. I said, Chris, I like certain parts in it. I uh-huh. feel like we could ting it up. And, you know, he had, you were saying how much Queen I could pull in the pack wherever I said, yo, that bad. And I just came from playing all fours with my cousin. And so you I just knock like, all fours? Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. I ain't really, I ain't great. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me rephrase that. I now get my, my tail whipped by my cousin, right? Yeah. And, you know, I was like, Queen in the pack thing. I was like, hey, boy. I feel we could really tying cards and and putting something mm-hmm. in that's how queen of hearts came about right and uh, well you shall all day yeah well i guess three songs and a half three songs and a half yeah three songs and a half all right cool 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 so i mean so i want to get into like <clears throat> you know how your your experience coming up your journey you know how you really got into music because you are part of a, pro- a, a correct me if i'm wrong mm-hmm. a production crew at first and then started the branch out you te- what was your story in music well n- well system 22 really was a a dj group right right you know we we tried to model it like the local major laser in a sense that's when the edm thing was really huge in a way mm-hmm. and of course you know with groups and, and and stuff you know life happens people outgrow but system 32 is still a go mm-hmm. you know um but it's no longer three of us it's just myself and kevin big up kevin everywhere that's my brother for life right and you know me and him really held it down and we brought the knockabout rhythm the 24 hour rhythm and it's really just us kind of sticking together and saying you know hey we we on this junior music together we're going to continue we're going to try and you know find a way to to create this brand and let this brand be palatable right here locally you know mm-hmm. you know so big up kevin man well b- b- before that because um you know like what was your first experience in music like how'd you get started you know um so my my first experience was with with really and truly wait, you mean like professional, professional? no no professional i'm talking about your, your first introduction oh. to music what made you want to start to sing write play an instrument you well know? I, your I used grind, to get trouble, your right? I used to get real trouble, right? Uh-huh. Because, of course, single mother, no real father figure around in the earlys, so you know you're getting real trouble, real beams. And my, you know, my mom's was just like, listen, I working hard, you need to settle down. I'm gonna put you to do guitar classes. Okay. I was like, you doing that? Mm-hmm. She's like, you will do it. So first class i didn't really like it then this was with enrico cameo he was my first Serious? yeah this is my first Shout out to enrico, man, teacher, whoever right? Did. enrico big up his set right so when i went the first class and he was teaching we did different chords my hand was hurting i said mommy mm. i'm going back there you know <laughs> i'm not going back there she said listen i am finishing work half four mm-hmm. you'll go there and when i finish work i will come and pick you up because that was a way for me to she know i'm going to get trouble because yeah. she know right after school finishes guitar classes right so after like the two weeks in it i started to kind of like it and she she bought a a, a, a new guitar for me so mm-hmm. when she see me keep picking up the guitar every now and again and she realized mm, he like it a little bit and that was the first entry and then now me playing guitar um in secret Art boys was a huge parang school right with mr gomez who i don't know if he's still there and that was that was the first time i was just there playing guitar mm-hmm. and of course if you're in the choir you know you would know a little two lines you know 
Rio Manzanari, the army passer, you know, you know, I don't know, you know, you know right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> when he see him singing and he was like, hey, you know, I feel, I feel like I come up and sing, you know, and I say, well, oh, yeah, I'm going to play guitar and sing. He's like, nah, I'll go teach you, whatever, whatever, is the case. Mm. And so, we used to get like, literally, like half lunch in Secret Hearts and then get like the last two periods to just. You know? and so I was like, boy, music, me getting to be in class, I getting to skip class. <laughs> nah, I in this, I come in here. So what you need? <laughs> I here to skip class. Yeah. So it was that, and then what really, really gave me over the edge was when we placed a third in the parent school parent competition, and that kind of make me feel like okay, maybe there is a chance in music. But of course, I was also doing water polo. So it was just all like, of that, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it was really my mom just saying, "Listen, boy, you're giving get, trouble. Yeah, getting I don't want different it. activities. Yeah, so, yeah, and coming from you know my background, coming from Gonzalez, Paul of Spain, where you know there's a lot of different elements mm. that you know you could pull your hair, pull your there. Mm-hmm. So she was just really trying to make sure, hey, my one piece of son, I trying to hold on to him, mm-hmm. you know. And then now I end up um, passing for Trinity Mocha, and the first they have something called shades of culture right so you know the teacher was like hey you know if you guys have any talents that you want to showcase whatever i don't know what tell me well you know i am i can play a little guitar and things she's like well you know what bring your guitar and come and play for shades of culture Mm -hmm. and that first i just played that for that night and the entire auditorium just everybody's like yeah boy from literally form one to form two everybody was just calling him a gabilan 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 because that was right. the, that was the parang song of Asana. okay so okay it was just like gabilan gabilan and it just stuck and for a little bit i give off on the music again i was like nah i will play football football is the cool thing you know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know i will play football because like honestly speaking at that point in time if you tell somebody yeah, i want to do music they ain't really take it serious but as a footballer all the girls everybody you know Thing. So, try with Travi, the football. Have you had all the girls playing football back in the day? Had all the girls? Or I was. I feel he had a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> so, then now going forward, I, you know, my mom's migrated, so I'm here now. Okay. Big family. I was literally able to do whatever I want, but luckily, I don't know what came over me. I was working high low, in. St. Anne's now. Mm. And it was it was Christmas boy or summer. Which one of them I was working, right? And I'd make like about three thousand dollars from tips. And I say, you know what? I saved in this money. I was gonna buy I was gonna do the, the average black boy thing and you know get to buy to old school and a jan spot mm. and go back out to school, you know? Mm-hmm. Fresh. But something hit me, boy. I was just like, hey, I feel I wanna I wanna try and do a song, boy. Because at that time I used to play around on my sister laptop because I didn't have a laptop. I used to play around on Fruity Loops making little beats now. Right. And I just had this little beat up making. I say, bro, you know this. This could be a vibe. And I've, I was real into Suka. Them days I was into Suka. And I just say, you know, that seen this Casey Phillips fella keep popping up on the credits. Precision Productions, Precision Productions. Mm-hmm. So easy boy. I just message him. I say, yo, bro, thing whatever, whatever. Would love to work with you, whatever. He respond back immediately. Yeah, yeah no shout scene, out to Casey, um, man. Shout yeah, out to Casey. He was like, yeah, no scene, bro. I'm thinking, thing, thing, whatever. I say, well, how much is your rates, whatever? He says, rates. Tell me your rates. I say, mm-hmm. all right, cool. When I read your rates, so I say, boy, a thousand short. Yeah. I say, wait, boy, what to do? What to do? <sighs> My aunt gave me the extra money. Mm. I say, all right, cool. When I went down in the studio, I actually went down with her because I was a little boy at the time. And so, so, down south. Down south. KMP. So went. Shout out to Kenny. Kenny, yeah, big up big himself. Up Kenny. So when I went in there now and he heard this song, he was mm-hmm. like, yo, you could well write, boy. You mind if I send you some rhythms or whatever, whatever. I said, well, not really, you know. <laughs> Why, man? No, no, I don't know what come over me. I said, not really, you know. But then my aunt was like, no, shh, hush him out, boy. Hush, hush. Yes, send him, send him some rhythms, whatever is the case. I say, well, yeah, all right, all right, well, send me, send me. Because right. I really didn't know. So, me, I just wanted to get my song your, your stuff, done. Yeah. And you didn't understand that. I didn't understand. Yeah. So, he sent me a couple rhythms. And I was recording. This is my laptop here. And, all right, everybody asleep. And I just mumbling and mm. catching little melodies, however. Sent to be demo. He was like, yo. Uh, no, I sent him it and he never responded. Never respond. Mm-hmm. Up to this day. <laughs> what? We so, then now I, no. so then now I message him. I was like, yo, bro, you get a chance to check it out. Mm-hmm. 
And he's like, oh yeah, it's trash. I didn't like it. I was just like, we KC by one by KC by No, no, but I, I have to, I, I just always applaud him for that. I respect now. that. Because mm-hmm. he brought something out of me that I didn't know I have. I was just like, who is this man to tell me no, boy? Because that's, that's how I am now. If you tell me no, mm-hmm. I'm going to prove to you that I am saying yes, I will I will do it. Mm-hmm. So he said, I trust. I say, well, here, well, bro. Send my next rhythm. He sent my next rhythm. That next rhythm was the was carry on for Destra. Mm. And when I heard Destra was singing, I was just like, I feel like this man on a hoax singing. You know? I feel like he he playing me you know, about Destra and Destra and Destra. I didn't feel Destra do nothing. It's when I was in you know Trinity Mocha Library, and he sent the demo, mm-hmm. and I went because I used to be in the library a lot, playing around you know, make sure and checking my emails and playing Halo and thing you know. Real, I used to waste time in school. I ain't yeah. gone. You ain't go front. I'm fronting, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to waste time, but I used to still, you know, place top 15. Make sure you know mom's cool with it now. So when I get back the email now, when I listen to Tony on on my headphones that I had, I said, "What is that, boy?" I call my bedroom. And I say, "Oh, Matt, you listen to this boy?" <laughs> yeah, my thing. He said, "Yeah, what is that, boy?" I say, "Wait." So wait, you wrote it? Wrote it. So, she, so you would say that's the first that was the first quote unquote big tune that you wrote or for for uh, established artist yeah but and that was like that was at first fi- 15 f- 15 years old 15 years well 14 going on 15. wow wow no, but hear me i still didn't know if i wanted to do music because at that time i was still playing um club KCPL. football no way yeah, that's what I'm, go- I'm gonna get down now too I, so, dig up, dig up nah, nah, facts, I, I was i was compensated well for that but you were compensated and, well and very good that is what that is what got me into it. When I saw her, first of all, I was paid up front, right? Mm. And then mm. when she placed in Soka Monarch, and as well have the utmost respect for Destra, wherever she is, she could have said, by some little youth man, they write this song, I mm-hmm. I go and take out the whole bag, which artists have done in the past, right. go with the whole bag, and him mm-hmm. say, well, the writer to get something, whatever. She literally called my aunt and was like, hey, that's why she's always asked me, you know, how your aunt, how your auntie, how mm-hmm. everything, because like we had that relationship from since as a little boy, you know. He wanna call she out on she age, whatever, you know, it's love. That's true, it's love. <laughs> up still, right? still scorching out there. So when I when I see the first check, I was just like football nothing <laughs> even even when i went outside and i reasoned with some of my old you know neighborhood friends and thing and you mm-hmm. know men who i grew up with everybody was still on the football dreaming at all football mm-hmm. football as the fellas because well, you was 15 16 years old yeah. i guess around that age yes, everybody want to be the next christy the next yeah. i was like fellas i don't have time for football. for for that again no <laughs> i am on music and men laugh at me men was like well you on joke thing boy mm-hmm. you on you on joke thing boy it's only after could be let me say two years of it is like everybody's like yeah boy no boy, you're doing your thing boy mm-hmm. yeah boy mm-hmm. g boy well right so 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 fast forward then now like all right so because of that did you start a shop more things or did like casey more send more start to send more stuff well right so this is where i had like a crossroads so i was still writing and true casey again i did some for blacks i did more work with destra because mm-hmm. she just she just really she had at that point she just really liked me and she was just like i like this youth boy he real humble he real grateful whatever mm-hmm. i like his style i'm gonna keep working with him and then I, I i finished school i was like you know what casey i don't think i could do anything right now you know i want to focus on cxc i did not like my mother told me listen you come out of school with no passes i will deal with you and when my mother said that that is real uh-huh. that is real right mm-hmm. so i was like you know what let me just thumb down a little bit i trying to get my passes thing and then when i finished school you know my uncle who was living in south africa he was like hey i see you doing music uh, you know thing your aunt and them talk to him about you thing i was like all right cool yeah yeah thing he was like when you finish school i will come across I just like South Africa. Yes, yeah, South Serious? Africa. Okay, good. So left, went South Africa, mm-hmm. and opened up my whole my whole landscape towards life and towards just like it was no longer yeah in the hood and you know you're just trying to find a way out. Like you see a way out. You mm. see somebody who was able to come from the same predicament you come from, or even worse, and make something of yourself. And I will always view him as a real and true father figure now because mm-hmm. he he was able to really give me that push and say hey you could really take this music thing and make it a living because 
you know coming from the background I don't, I don't blame anybody but coming from our background they will always tell you yeah do the music thing but you know go and get a walk mm-hmm. yeah go and get a walk mm-hmm. but i was just like i didn't want to do that i wanted to do music full-time i wanted to be a creative and he gave me the blueprint for what i am and what i'm doing today he was just like listen to me all you have to do is really put your mind to it and apart from putting your mind to it put your willpower to it because i always tell them one of my favorite i mean to get nerdy on anybody but one of my favorite superheroes and i think that's one of the greatest superheroes ever is green lantern because his power is based on his will so imagine somebody could do anything if they will allow it and that always fascinated me and i and we, we me and him had, used to have those conversations he's like yeah you have to put your will towards it now and came back trinidad went to house party beat my bedroom blair he was like bro i want to do soca too boy i was like all right cool i don't think i wanted to be an artist i just wanted to make music and just be behind the scenes and produce and stuff so i was working with him and then me and kevin connected as well too me and kevin connected off of mr renzo i had did a rem- i was just taking people's stems uh-huh. and remixing them and just trying to get better at production production yeah so took mr renzo's stems and I was just like, bro, this song. He was like, I sent it back to him, and he's like, this real bad. But need Renzo, to be big up yourself, yeah. wherever it is. Renzo, Renzo, Renzo could actually take credit for hooking up myself and Kevin. Okay, and there's the system to yeah. Too. And all right, right, all right, all right, yeah. Renzo. Give yeah. Mister Renzo that yeah, play, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So when we did that, now you know, Kevin was just like, oh well, they might twenty five hundred to mix it now. I was like, wait, I really had that way. I was like, Renzo, well, you could sort him out. Renzo say, well, yeah, we could think we sorted out whatever. But then Kevin was like, actually, no, bro. Actually, like it, I'll do it for you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we sat down there, thing, and I like, played him some more stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's just Music like, yo, dog, you real off. bad. But then now he had another brethren, which is now my, one of my real closest brethren, which is mm-hmm. Jamil. And they were like, yo, bro, like, they, re- they, they saw me and it, like, reminded them of themselves as, like, creatives who trying to just come out and do something. And he was mm-hmm. like, bro, if you want, you could rule with us. And they kind of was just like big brothers to me and say, yo, come on the journey, be a creative, do your thing. And, you know, then they were giving me equipment, say, yo, you could come in the studio, you could do this, you could do that. And again, that also was part of my journey, part of me really saying, all right, cool, I could do this. I find somebody who willing to at least give me that, that little push now. Yeah. And through Kevin and I linking up now, he's like, bro, you know, I want to form this thing called System to you too. As I was just like, all right, yeah, we'll have a look. Like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. And we were doing this, these little EDM remixes and i don't know how it happened system 22 was just there they were doing the thing the edm thing was huge and then and it's around what year though like, this is it's like, like about when 20, you say the edm this is like about 2014 20 okay 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 2014 around when you're having like all them yeah sunset momentum festival and, yeah and all them thing, right right 2014 right. 15 mm-hmm. and then Ola Tunji just managed um this message one of us random yo fellas i really like all the vibes and things we tell our boy <laughs> I really like all the vibes, but I feel like we could see something, boy, right? So he came in the studio, and I was just like, I braced him one time. I was like, bro, you, you remember me from outside um Premier Studios? Uh? He's like, no, boy. Dog, bro, listen to this remix I did, because again, I was just taking people's mm-hmm. stems mm-hmm. and remixing it. Right. And I played it for him. Yeah, and I played it for him, and he was just like, oh, this bad boy, tell boy, I never hear this boy, tell boy. I was like, all right, cool, 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 all right, see, no, see, all right, all right. And then now we're going to work on music. Right and he's like bro i have this song man ola literally came with a notepad book with mm-hmm. uh, like right out the song mm-hmm. and he's like but i have this song here boy if you're heading up to the mountains i'll be i was like yeah just have a vibe you know mm-hmm. um but hum it down on the, on the mic now we go this power metro no man thing mm-hmm. we hum it down we try to work on stuff boom and then everybody just get tired say all right fellas you'll come back the next day and this time, when I reached back to I was able to get a job in Hot 93. So I still was right. always I around remember. studio I equipment. think that was the first time I met you. I came, I, I, I went to do an interview there with Just G. So right. I, right. So, oh, um, big up to uh, big up to Wayne LeBlanc, Big George. He was also one of the... There are so much people. And I think when people say things like, you know, oh, I don't need nobody. Mm. Or oh, I do this by myself. Mm-hmm. I will, you'll never hear me saying that because there's so much people that help me along the way and 
I probably won't be able to mention all of their names. And, and if they're listening right now, I apologize. My, my, my sincerest apologies, you know what I mean? All right, well, let, let's take a little pause. Let's get back into some yeah, music. Yeah. We, we, we breezing out, you know what I mean? You know, we got Mikel Tasia in the building. This is the grind playing the best in TNT music. He is here to tell you his story, his journey in music, because that's what we do. You know, and because grind. you never know which other youth listening out there took a fine inspiration from these words and, and your journey. And that's what it's about right here on the grind. And we are powered by Root Boy. Taste it, feel it, live it. Trav, I want to go with want. Give me what they want. Ooh. Let's go! Girl, I, let we do something you never do before. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back. Um, we are here live with Mikhail Tasia, your street chromatics in the building. Trying to make sure that my thing walking good, right? It's walking yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, proper. Right. You don't know. So we just um you know, Ola Tunji reached out, you know, your formed System 32 mm-hmm. with, you know, some close brethren and, you know, Ola, Ola reached out and just started working on songs with him, which was, um, this was, um, OLTL, that it was really one life to live where we just say the mountain song. Yeah, the mountain. Yeah, the yeah. Mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that was the first of it and the song kind of did well outside of Carnival now. Mm-hmm. And... Boy, that just kind of sink the energy real good, and we just had like a, a real good chemistry. And you know, going forward, Ola was just like, Yo, I had a song, yo, I had a song, you were like anything that was weird, anything <laughs> you that Ola come by felt you. like I couldn't go by anybody else because, mm-hmm. like, I feel like everybody else was like on the soca soca thing, and these fellas like doing EDM and pop thing. So, like, I want to work with them now, and it just, it just worked. and Sativa, body line, like Sativa. But we, yes, you you did body line too. Trav. Yeah. If you have all of them thing there, yeah. we can play when, when, we, yeah, when yeah. we wrap up. You can play some of them thing in the soca segment. So yeah. you know that kind of bridged our relationship and you know synced. And of course, you know people seeing you know the, the our little synergy working. Other mm-hmm. people's like, hey, yo, thing, you know, you had the Marshall with the waves, out. and other people oh. started reaching. Wait, up, waves is sing waves on it. Um, let me make a wave. Up on your body, girl. Wow. You know, bum, bum, but also, hey, now, I want to ask a question. Will your royalty check this look like? It'd be good, it'd be nice. Not really, no, <laughs> no, I, no, no, I just be honest. <laughs> Not really, honestly, I, I make more money from BMI than I make with cut. Okay, well, anyway, we won't get into that, but yeah. I mean, but all right, <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> on the back end, on the back end, yeah, yeah, but you know, that's the next topic. Hopefully, mm-hmm. they get this stuff together. So but also that same year, I think what really so I was always on the songwriter, you know, songwriter producer thing. Mm-hmm. But what really this, this what I want to get into now is is how, how you started the transition as a solo artist, you right? Know? What what made you want to step out as a artist, solo artist? boy? Like I just hated the fact that I have to run down an artist. <laughs> no, no, I, I've been real. Like for me, yeah, we, we, yeah. for me, what does make an artist an artist? Is the art now mm-hmm. and like i was never like worried of being an artist just at that time in my life i do feel like i really wanted to step into the artist thing because it was just a lot of i like being in the studio more mm-hmm. i like creating mm-hmm. um i don't really like like in my as my personality like i don't seek attention i feel like as an artist like you you have to be the mic there need to get that mm-hmm. mic and yeah. do that for me i've always been like I'll bro be- I, I know what i could do uh yeah it'll be song here bro if you want to do it you mm-hmm. but you know you're, you're sending artist songs and it's just like you're waiting. Fellas, basically we had to yeah, move on other people timing yeah these fellas not and this is no knock to anybody yeah? mm-hmm. it's just like because i don't know what you're going through i don't know your personal struggles yeah. i don't know what you're going through yeah so i send <laughs> people songs and i find like but it's nothing but and, and that's still after you wrote all of these songs too yeah this this is still after that bro so again big up to her no disrespect and this is not me talking to her directly my first song my first soca song that i really say you know what i'm going to do mm-hmm. was a song i wrote for patrice roberts mm-hmm. i wrote beast for patrice roberts mm-hmm. and i don't know if she didn't get the song her management or whatever or she probably right. going through something you don't know yeah. or she probably what, yeah, didn't or feel she it for busy, her or she didn't feel it for her you know so at that time i was just like <coughs> what are you going on with him boy and again big up to alex from lunatics he was just like so bro why why you do this song 
Alex, who's playing Dasha Band? In Dasha Band? Shout out to yeah. Alex, man. Big, Big up, up Alex. Yourself, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was like, bro, why ain't do this song? I said, well, you sure, boy? Mm. You sure? Well, it's, it's funny because there's a similar situation. I think who it was talking that way? Ufan. I think Ufan. Ufan with only eyes with the same. <laughs> Oh come on, come on, come on! No, I, I'm, not day, I, 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 I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking. Of it's course just, not. Of course not. And at the end of the day, to uh, top artists like that, uh, they get the world thousand, of songs thrown at songs. them. So yeah, you can't really. You know. but, but one one thing I would say, where so guys concerned, and I had this conversation with an artist today. Mm-hmm. The stone the builder refuse <laughs> mm-hmm. will be the head cornerstone. <laughs> that <laughs> is fact. Right. Enough hits men turn down, uh-huh. and it happened to be. And it, it is, it is. I if that happened to me, I and I will feel away. No, but at, or if if you turn down a song that yeah. they're not be being well, and no, but at the end of the day, you might you had to thank them too because then you and, and of course people like Ufan might not have have happened gone down this path. And you're still write songs for the artists, but yeah, of course yeah, yeah. You're, you're a solo artist now. Yeah, well. yeah. So yeah. so that was the transition for me. Mm-hmm. And of course, when I realized, okay, good feedback. You know, people are wrong. You saying, yo, I really like that song. Blah blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. I was like. I still tell to myself. I still tell myself like I didn't, and I didn't also think I wanted to go the conventional route of singing soca. Mm-hmm. And I'm being honest with you, like for me, and if you listen to these soca songs that I do, yeah, I don't really talk about carnival and wine and, and jump and wave. I will I'll talk about whining, but I've always had like this thing where I ain't really want to be on that vibe now because it's just like for me, I, I wanted to do more. Mm-hmm. For, you know watching at the greats like bob marley's and the and the dennis browns and the marvin gays like mm-hmm. as much as they were doing he was doing sexual healing or kinky mm-hmm. reggae or these different things them fellas still had an awesome message that up to the day still relevant now yeah. and for me that's something where I, I, I was just listening to the what's going on album what's up, good? Up to the other day, oh, so, come on you know. bro one of the greatest <laughs> songs on the album for me was save the children uh-huh. he talked about you know a will that is destined to die the same things he's talking about in that song which is about 30 40 years ago mm-hmm. is still relevant today and that's something i personally want for myself as an artist so that's why you wouldn't really see me as much as i might sing a horn and first however i still might <laughs> sing a no money making exactly I still, might, I still might sing a strength of god and it's just about that balance now and that's something for me that i feel like soca don't necessarily allow you to do well i wouldn't say that i mean mm. the, the the festival does push you as and i always say this that's why certain songs like that is had a release earlier in the season yeah you yeah. know because as the festival gets closer and closer the festival in itself is a is a double-edged sword man. yeah you know i mean it's kind of pushed towards are we getting ready for the road so them is eating that we want to start to yeah. listen to and whatnot yeah and whatnot. but it's also a catalyst to propel music outside of it so you know yeah. songs that you know might not be suited for that specific time can live on and live past it yeah. so like, i mean I, you know, I it's just how to maneuver it i eh? all for the for the jump if you see me on your road I bad yeah well me I, too you understand yeah, yeah. but in federal dread I mean, maybe not anymore <laughs> you know why not way eh? you ain't going out there well no <laughs> i ain't frightened i get catch you know my name kind of uh, you know a little more popular now than, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, back licks. in the day i will get make out easy easy, easy. i feel that and then you're a red man you're a red man too ain't trying to get make out at all yeah, yeah 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 i feel that but you know i i love the rule and i love to party and have a good time mm-hmm. but parties at a certain time in my life I, I also want music that could you know and that's my dilemma with birthday that's how i kind of came up with birthday i was just like ah, this entire rhythm is really for the party you know but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. god but i want to do something that could really could really you know separate a little bit same thing with this one link rhythm I know everybody was like party or enjoyment or gal thing. I was just like, bro, I, I have enough gal tune. I want to talk about something that, some, you know, that I just like to talk about issues that we could really, really talk about. Now. Right. And right. For me, it's a balance. It's a creative well, yeah, balance. Well, well, with that said, Travi, we have the no money making day. You know, I feel like we go with that now. Uh, yeah, the no money making. Right? So we got Mikael Tej in the building. We take a quick break and we'll be back. Tej, what are you saying? We getting them live? What them? Yeah. Think. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, God, I do more say less. I, I cut, cut every link. Cut them off. Who do like when man oh, progress? They say we living in a gunman world. So big up every boy and girl. Who do run down no badness? Never put your mother in no sadness. They say we come from a happy place. 
But I don't see happiness Because we struggling every day And we still can't see we wait So how you gonna run out on them with him at 10? And no money making, no money making How you gonna kill off your best friend? And no money making, no money making so You alone want try bins And no money making, no money making Time for work on your line man well, no money, money making money Big up cheese well every time Every day me chase it G Scale And if it's the first time you're hearing it This is called No Money Making Featuring G Scale Mikhail Tasia Ladies and gentlemen yeah, True story Yeah 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 True story True story Yours truly Chromatics DJ Trav Soraya This is the grind Once again we have Mikhail Tasia We're getting ready to wrap it up Um so yeah, so what I just want to you know kind of end with is is so you know we just talked about you know your preference in terms of not preference mm-hmm. but you know you 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 want our sort of wider reach and topics and you know content when it comes exactly. to your music in soca but you're not afraid you're not afraid to experiment yourself with your music yeah yeah you know, I I want to ask you a question do you feel like you know like you're, you're underrated or like you know you you I feel. <laughs> like you no, no this is my this is my opinion yeah, 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 yeah. you have great music everybody knows your music but it's, it, 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 it's one song in yeah, yeah one song okay you'll get one in <laughs> you'll get one and everybody go know me can't teach him across the board because of you, you of course you're still very well known um and whatnot but you know do you feel that at times that 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 you're somewhat underrated in the game if you ask me not a year ago i'll be like yeah boy real underrated dog i feel like the fighting man uh-huh. <laughs> but how I view it as I view it, yeah. I, I this is my honest opinion, and if if I'm wrong for this, I'll take that right. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I'm ahead of the curve, and mm, the you, entire they go catch the, up. The space of the catch up. Mm-hmm. I hear yeah. The space of the catch up because I watch how again I'm going back to what I say earlier, right? When I tell my friends, "Yo, fellas, why flag on the music?" Nah, that music thing ain't making sense. Mm-hmm. But then now, within my community, younger ones who want to do music now, yeah, boy, I want to do music. Yeah, boy, brother, boy, yeah, you could do it. Mm-hmm. And I think I had to take ego out of the equation, take your pride out of the equation. I think some of us are here to cut grass. Mm. That's my honest opinion. I think maybe you might catch a one, maybe not, but. At least well, here cut part, uh, cut part for Gucci to run. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we hear cut it because again, I'm gonna use our next example. I am watching the reception of people like Anna Lee Prime, like people like mm. yo, yo, she's fire, bro. Mm-hmm. But let's not forget that we had many people before, kind of yo, we could do more. Create yo, we that. could do more. Yeah, yo, yeah. we could yourself yeah. included, bro. Yeah, blessings. We could do more. Mm-hmm. And again, some of us maybe we here to cut grass, and yeah. there's nothing nothing wrong, wrong with that. that. Maybe. Thought. They may not mention our names in the history book, but that's okay. We cut grass. We allow others to pass now. I always, always say that it about Mali, one of his greatest quotes is the, the greatest thing he could be in life is our inspiration to others. Yeah. So, you know, any time that, you know, you, you get the, those sort of, not accolades, but reception and understanding from other people like like that just keep me going mm-hmm. you know what i mean when people say boy dog you think real inspire me inspire me to do this do, 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 do. you know what i mean to me that's more important than anything a, else you know somebody tell me last week a great leader does inspire leaders to create mm. more leaders mm. <laughs> i like that one because i am i always like i've been real no filter right mm. If I was somebody like, let me say, the mighty Sparrow, mm-hmm. and I'm seen, I was the king of Calypso, and Calypso was this great art form, and within my lifetime, it went from the greatest thing to something that nobody really, <laughs> nobody really. I thought, we don't have enough that no, time. I know, no, but I just saying, I just saying one analogy, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. In my lifetime, and then coming up now. I seen the genre not really that for me we can't make that mistake mm. you have to allow other leaders to come up and thrive yeah, and you have to allow for evolution I can't put in all this hard work and create all these all these songs mm-hmm. for then 10 years down the line the genre to not be flourishing mm-hmm. you know what I mean so we just that's, that's, that's my rationale like I don't want to put in all this hard work and then 
10 20 years i in my old age saying yes man look at and then no i, I act like way boy now nah, but nothing boy mm. like i would feel like i would feel like yeah. you know are we yeah. well i mean with, with that said i want to get into this tune we're going to wrap it up with this tune which is one of your latest songs if not your latest release yeah you know, i think it's out a few months now or more yeah, about a few months. Yeah, you know what I mean? What you will call so, this tune? What, what, what you will call it? I have no idea and I love it. I love <laughs> the fact that... I mean, you could call it Afro pop, soca pop. It's, it, it's music, dog. It's just dope music. I, I love playing it. Thank I you. love the song. So just, so just, you know, take us through the thought process of creating this song. You know what I mean? Because I saw you, you, you put out... Uh, um, you did a little acoustic thing before mm-hmm. you, you really drop it and I think you asked yeah, yeah. people if I should put out this song yeah, 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 yeah. and etc etc what was the thought process in the creation of the song the song we're talking about actually is a song called Flavor right yeah, for yeah those Flavor is out right now video mm-hmm. dropping this week oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah timing yeah. perfect dog perfect got this timing on but the grind the, the yeah. thought process again is how could I go bigger how could I and again I have a little niece who, who looks up to me mm-hmm. and you know even when I speaking about you know the opposite sex you know speaking about women i i try to even if i even if i'm going down in the, in the grit i mm-hmm. still want to make it respectful respectfully like just mm. like bumper mood as much as i say in yeah bum bum bumper i saying hey mama bad girl good grandma i still celebrating you know ah. and i was just like yo how, how how i could do something that fresh have a little a little zest a little afro a little you know a little melting pot i mm-hmm. want to do something outside of the season and i kind of wanted to reclaim myself from horning first to now uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to reclaim myself. I feel you. I feel you. I was like, oh God, I know I'm on a man all day, boy. I'm going to celebrate all you know. I'm going to give you some love. And I was like, all right, I think. But he's not outside, some. man. But you know what you're going to do. <laughs> 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 well, at least yes, not man. anymore. <coughs> so, so, so that was really the process. The process was how could I celebrate women? Uh, mm-hmm. And what led me to that was like in Horn and Face and, um, you know, that Sukamon like, performance where everybody's like, you know, yeah, we could. Dr- dr- Power first for farmer, power first for this mm-hmm. one. That. I was like, nah, things going on in the country. Let me actually address it. Let me actually right. talk about that. I remember and that, that. kind of lead me on to saying, yo, I feel like we need more positive music towards women. Because even in the song, I said, um, you know, man could have gone on the waist, mm-hmm. but yet still your mother pray for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You, you bigger than that now. Nah. No doubt, so, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. that's a perfect way to end it. Before we go, brethren, anything you want to, you know, do the typical, anybody want to shout out the socials, etc., yeah, yeah. etc. Um, Jesus, guys. No, I mean, thanks for everybody to support me. You know, thanks to you guys for, you know, sharing the platform. No doubt. Thanks for being um, here. Honestly, bro, i just, I just grateful to just be alive and doing music. You know I mean? We could be six feet under. We could be, you know, not being able to do music. So, i just grateful for that. And, you know, thanks again for everybody who support and show us that love. And look forward. Flavor video is going to be out this yeah, week. I can't give you all that day yet. Looking but, forward for that, for sure. You know, and, you know. You just could, keep it locked to your... Social, yeah, media, social media right? which so, is um Mikhail Taja on all platforms M-I-C-A-L-T-E-G-A yeah man and that's it alright ladies that's and it. gentlemen Mikhail Taja our first guest for 2021 right you here lie. on the ground yeah how you mean I get you <laughs> <laughs> Our first guest, and of course, this is his brand new song. It's called Flavor. Look out for the video dropping this week. This is the grind playing the best in TNT music. Fox! <laughs> we gotta get him in live. <laughs> what are calling this? I'm sorry, we gotta get him in live. Hey. Flavor, flavor, flavor. They got it, baby. She got it. Boy, this is the grind. Give me some, baby. Cut yeah. what? Melanin popping, everything firm. Nothing ain't dropping on you. All the big ends them watching. Six figure clocking, but that ain't bothering you. Some man could have gone on the waist, you know. but them boy go around the place. You know. Watch your mother pray for you. Look how you're born with flavor, flavor, flavor. Melanin flavor, flavor, flavor. Sign the pen on your paper, paper, paper. Sign the Tell him, man. Eh? You want to tell him? Go brave, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, before you ask up the place, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this place is really important. Yeah, man. Hey. Sweet like bun bun, like sugar in a pot when you brung brung. Hello, you know where you come from, so nobody can take you for clung now. Cause you know what you have is special. Hey, hey, so baby, don't give it up now. Because your mother pray for you. You're born with flavor, 
So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's the sounds of Mikhail Tejan. We want to thank him once again for pulling through. This is the grind. The best. Up, so yeah, man, the best in TNT music every Monday night, 4 to 7 p.m. Until Kofi done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell my boy go breathing. 